Hello and welcome to the Virtual Groom Room. My name is Jackie Host and today I'm bringing you another shaving video. So, what am I using today? My soap of choice is from Australian Private Reserve and it's called, I believe it's Aussie Mandis, Mandias, probably that, Aussie Mandias. Now, the scent to this is actually pretty complex. The base notes of this, or the things that stand out to me, are musk and sandalwood. The top notes are actually really interesting. It's black cherry, I believe it's blackberry or blueberry, and white rum. And the, the, the smell of rum here is prominent, I'm telling you. It's a really fresh, clean scent. In fact, it's kind of funny because the mix of the white rum with a lot of the other notes make it sound, make it smell a bit mentholated, but I can assure you that it's not. It's a really lovely scent and I'm looking forward to bringing you that today. Uh, my razor of choice today is a razor I trust wholeheartedly and that is the Christopher Bradley from Carve Shaving Co. Inside this, I'm, I have a second used feather. It would have been a first use, but yesterday I tried to record a video with a different soap and oh, what happened? It messed up. So I am re-recording a video with a different soap, mainly due to the fact that I don't like using the same soap more than once. I like to spice it up. My brush today is none other than the Wolf Whiskers Custom with a black wolf knot. The handle design is called Zen Garden and I've got eight flutes in the bottom. It's really nice. One of my favorite brushes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go away, kind of get the lather going and I will see you guys in a sec. Be right back. So the uh, brush is loaded. Let's wet the face and apply the loose soap from the puck to my face. I've not long come out of the shower, maybe 25 minutes, so yeah, there's that. Uh, let's get the loose soap from the puck. So I went in with a pretty wet brush, um, mainly due to the fact that I found this stuff can be, can take a bit to hydrate. And there's no doubt in my mind that with some agitation, you'll get the desired lather from it anyway. It's a lovely scented soap. It's definitely white rum. <laughs> However, I love the scent of rum, so it smells pretty good, especially with the more like musky berry notes. Okay, let's dry off the hand and we'll start applying the lather to the face. Let's lather up. So there is a reason why this video is quite a special one. Um, today, which is the 9th, you're seeing, you're probably going to see this on the 10th, but today the 9th is one year since my first YouTube video. So yeah, I've been here a year, I've been doing this for a year, which seems crazy to me, the fact that I've been doing it for a year already. Um, I don't have a huge following, but I have a following nonetheless, and I appreciate every one of you that comes to watch these videos. It'd be kind of pointless making them if I didn't have an audience to watch them, and although the audience isn't, you know, absolutely huge, I'd like to think you guys are here for me, not so much what I'm using. I, I know I use quite a lot of uh, cool soaps and stuff like that, but... At the end of the day, the soaps will change every shave and the guy in front of the camera shaving is different consistently. So, well, not different at all, the same. So I've applied it evenly to my face. I'm now gonna start dipping in water and agitating the lather. It really is a lovely scent. It's 
definitely getting there already. It's funny because I've been using that ball brush a lot and coming back to synthetic. Synthetics are so intuitive to use because it like you know what they're gonna do. Smooth this out and kind of see where we are. So I have pretty hard water here. I'm uh, going to get some of the uh, excess lather off the brush. Um, I'm going to New York in December, so I look forward to see the sort of leather I can produce up there because they have pretty damn soft water, I've been told. I might be wrong, so correct me if I am wrong, but... So I'm happy with the first inclusion of water, now I'm just going to start painting it in. One more dip. So the lather now has a really nice sheen. And a thick, thick consistency. You see the sheen there, so it's thick. This is probably in my top five for performance. Although my top five is pretty stacked at this point. Like pretty damn stacked. I'm uh, waiting on a few soaps as well. I'm waiting for the new Noble Otto soaps. I've ordered both of them. I've bought, uh, ordered both uh, Plunder and um, all of it, so I'm looking forward to that. And uh, I'm waiting for grooming department's um, collaboration with Male Grooming, which is uh, the Franken line. So that's going to be good. Carve Christopher Bradley with a feather. Let's go with the grain. Very slick. It's funny actually because um, don't get too caught up. On the performance of soap. Like I have. Not, not too much anymore, but The reason I say this is because uh, pretty much most things you're gonna get now are well, well better than good enough. I'm not gonna deny the fact that I can see a step down from this to something like uh, K Shave Works and Noble Otter. I mean, not Noble Otter. I'd actually argue if you say no blot is better than this, but uh, something like K Shave Works or Soap Commander. Although I would say this is a better performer, it's not that much better to where I can't, I shouldn't use the other stuff. Very smooth, which is funny because it's a feather. It's on a second use. So 
for the first shave, take a bit of an end, bit of the edge off of it. If you've been watching uh, or looking at my Instagram, you can see that the uh, bore's coming on nicely. Let me rinse the face and uh, we'll lather up again. I've not put a break in on purpose, so. <laughs> I've not made an error, just so you're aware. Beautifully hydrated my skin. Okay, let's uh, paint on some more. Still coming out beautif beautifully thick. Very nice. So, put some uh, more agitation to the lather, see what we can do. So we're gonna paint a tiny bit more water in. Then we're good here. Very nice. Second pass, let's go cross grain. Man, that's slick. <laughs> Very slick. If you've not tried any APR soaps, I highly recommend. Very good performance. And some incredible scents as well, which is the reason why you should be buying it. Another thing that's, uh, that I've got coming, 
I've managed to um, sell my mammoth Sonda set or trade it. It's a good soap. I, I prefer Talon still and I've traded it with a, uh, I've managed to trade that one set for um, two Talon still sets. Which is pretty great. I don't even need to reapply lather. <laughs> Just a quick clean up pass down here and we're good. Happy with that. Okay, let's rinse off the razor. Get our face wash going. Plenty in there. Really nice lather as well. I can see it. So I'm gonna scoop it onto this. Give it a good agitation in my hands. Man, this is a wonderful scent. I really enjoy it. Like I said, it's pretty rum forward, but if you can, if you like the scent of a uh, white rum, it's like fruity white rum. It's really interesting. So I highly recommend doing this, mainly due to the fact that you're not wasting the last bits of soap in your brush. It's just a good thing to do. Creating a face wash. It's just like a layer of hydration for your skin before you um, apply your aftershave product of choice. Great, okay, so I'm gonna Kind of clean the area, wash uh, the soap off my face, and I will be back for the post shave. Time for the post shave. I can tell my skin at the moment is incredibly well hydrated, and I don't really need an after shave, <laughs> but why not go overboard, you know? Let's have a fill. There's like this beautiful fatty layer over my skin. That's not a bad thing either, that's a really good thing. The residual slickness is still there. For my aftershave, um, I'm gonna use a, my generic aftershave and it's not male grooming. This is Barrister and Man's Reserve Cool. Uh, it's a nice mentholated aftershave. It's a little bit of burn. Very little, really. Love the menthol, that. It's lovely. Another thing, companies, take note. Look at that stopper there. That's the stopper you should use. It's fantastic. But yeah, um, happy year anniversary. It's good to see you guys come in and watch the video. I have like a bruise here because of jujitsu. I got a need in the eye. It happens. Um, yeah, it is what it is, I guess. Happy coming to watch these videos. Anyone that keeps what coming, please, please do. I I enjoy your interaction. Um, especially leave comments below if you want to create like a, you know, a good conversation. I enjoy that. I'll always respond to your comments uh, if you haven't seen already. Uh, if you're new around here and haven't yet subscribed, however, I would really appreciate it if you can consider doing so. I'm obviously trying to grow the channel, and with your guys' help, it becomes much easier. Apart from that, it's been your host, Jack, from the Virtual Grim Room. Have a good week ahead.
goodbye for now.